I've been teaching English at DSHA since the fall of 1980. DSHA remains in the forefront of women's education. And now we know with great certainty they're going to enhance the world in which they live and they're going to enrich the lives of those they encounter. Coming into DSHA, I tried the diving team and it was such a sense of community. I met many people from all different grade levels and it created friendships that will last a lifetime. I love student recruiting, especially in November when we go and visit eighth graders. Um, it really allows me to share my wonderful experience at DSHA with them to be able to have the traditions pass on so they can experience all the wonderful things that I have. DSHA is in, dedicated to an incredibly important mission, the whole person education of young women. And to do that in a faith-filled Catholic environment. We are also committed to continuous improvement. And that combination of commitments has really brought us to a level of excellence. And now this current act of faith, our campaign, which we're calling Building on Our Faith, which will propel DSHA into its next phase of development, its next level of excellence in really important ways. My experience at DSHA can probably be summed up by one word, and that's opportunity. And not only have I been given the opportunity to attend DSHA through numerous scholarships and generous donors, um, but I've also been given the opportunity to receive a college preparatory education and even win a full ride scholarship to Drexel University. Having a new space would be very exciting. We currently have mass every week, which is something that's new. And in addition to that, the amount of girls that are meeting for service team while there's a mass team meeting going on, while a retreat is being planned, just continues to expand. So being able to have a center where we can have all of these meetings simultaneously and have a chapel that's available all of the time for girls to go and just be, be at home here at DSHA. We have a beautiful theater, and our theater productions are amazing because we have the space. I feel as though the space, it, when, it's, when it's lovely, there's an expectation that they give themselves and that we can expect from our students and a pride that we'll have um, when we enter that space. If our students have a lovely space, they will be proud of it. and. Their, their performance and their learning will be enhanced. The real necessity for more space in our new facility um, has everything to do with student-teacher ratio, with the ability to collaborate, which is a huge 21st century skill. And when um, a student focuses on her wellness, it ends up not just being about wellness for her, but wellness for the entire community because of her focus on developing herself to her fullest potential. We are in the gym um, from right after school till 10 o'clock at night, most nights, trying just to get a little bit of time uh, for the kids that need to do their preseason training, in-season training, um, all those kinds of things. So there is definitely a need, and, and the new space would be welcomed and needed. They deserve it. They're phenomenal young women who deserve the best. DSHA has an incredible faculty. It's made up of people committed to faith and committed to making the experience in the classroom the best that it can be, and that is the mission of DSHA. We might argue right now that the, the fact that we overuse our classroom stunts creativity because we don't allow many of our teachers to be in their classrooms during their prep periods. And so with extra classrooms, we'll be able to allow faculty to feel at home and to create the space that they want to create it, both in the physical space, but also how they grow in the ways that they deliver the curriculum. Well, we have an opportunity for another transformation now. Imagine DSHA with a new chapel. Imagine DSHA with a music suite. Imagine DSHA with a common area for people to gather and a health and wellness center. And think about all the girls and young women that will benefit from that in the future. We feel so strongly about making sure the endowment increases so we can continue to have the quality teachers that will make lifelong impressions on the girls that they teach. If you look at the innovative and impassioned instruction that our incredible faculty provide, 
We have a comprehensive co-curricular program that allows young women to learn about themselves in ways other than academic at this important point of, in their lives when they're developing into who they are going to be. And now we've reached a point, committed as we are to continuous improvement, that without significant changes and developments in our facilities, we simply can't get any better. Giving is a universal opportunity. Please make a difference, make a gift, make an impact.